All right, welcome everyone. Today, it's time for a haircut. So we'll show you how we do it on the ISS. And obviously, since it's space, everything is more complicated than on Earth, so we have to change the way we do things. So how about we check it out? And before we see how it's done in space, let's see how you get your hair cut on Earth. All right, so to cut your hair in space, obviously, as you could imagine, as you can imagine, all the hair that just got cut would float away and get possibly into some other astronaut's eyes or into a, a science experiment, and we don't want that to happen. Actually, when we clean the filters, most of what we clean is hair and dead skin of human origin. So here's how it's done. We have our vacuum cleaner here. It's connected to the power. And we have our hair clippers, just normal hair clippers like you would see on Earth, except you can connect them to a tube that goes right to the vacuum cleaner, and then it's gonna suck all the hair that you cut. Once it's done, you adjust your length, not too long, not too short. Check that you have batteries, it's working switch the vacuum cleaner on and then you can start cutting. All right, as you can see, total team effort to get a good haircut on the ISS is not always good, but the difference between a good and a bad haircut is a couple weeks, so that's good enough. Uh, but speaking of haircuts, I also noticed that I need to clip my fingernails and the principle is the same. We don't want this to fly all around the station, that would be gross. So uh, we choose a conveniently located vent and we just use air aspiration from that vent to capture all nails and then we're going to vacuum the vent. So as you can see, it's just a standard nail clipper. And you're trying to keep your nail under control. There you go. And now we're ready for a good Sunday on board the ISS. Thanks for joining us and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.